right, about to start herping around this little um, kind of drainage ditch canal thing that runs through here. Uh, there's a lot of interesting stuff that lives in here, some non-natives, some natives. So we'll see what we're able to find. Uh, the water's looking decent, so might have a pretty good chance at finding something. So just saw a turtle go into here. We'll see if we can get it to come out. I saw that it went under these plants. Let's see if we can find it. I'm really good at being able to hide in this stuff. Just try and flush them out by messing with these plants a little bit. Do not see the turtle that I saw few minutes ago. Oh, I see him. He's right here. Florida red belly. Gotcha. There we go. Bright red belly. So yeah, Florida red belly. Nice bright red belly. Got a little bit of that older turtle mosaic pattern going on, but really glad I spotted this guy in good condition. Um, you can see some of the dentation on the upper jaw. Helps them cut through vegetation when they eat it. So we're going to let this guy go back into the clear water snapper right here nice nice snapper let's check this guy out oh, got by the edge of the shell Oop. it'll take me a minute to get this guy over here to the bank all right okay here we go Nice. Looks like a female Florida snapper. Good looking turtle. This one was just cruising across the bottom. And you can see it's got a little bit of damage from alligators on the back. And this actually has like a soft spot where it cracked. So that is a little bit interesting. But really nice turtle. Really, really cool. Love seeing these guys. Some of my favorites to see when I come down to Florida. Nice, nice Florida snapping turtle. Very, very cool. All right, so doing pretty good. Got that snapping turtle. That was one of the goals for this spot and to get that so early is really awesome. I'm always glad to kind of be able to get my hands on those guys. So gonna keep on walking, see what else we can see. Lots of cooters in here, uh, a lot of invasive sliders. There are some striped mud turtles, some soft shells, um, and I've even found chicken turtles here before. That would be really awesome to see one of those guys. All right, got another Florida snapping turtle hanging out under these plants. I can see the plants moving. I got it now. Yep, that's a different one. This is a different one. Oh boy. This may be one I've caught before. This one's big. All right, I'm gonna get this over to here. Here, take this GoPro. There we go. Another floor snapping turtle. This one's a big one. Wow, I believe I've caught this one here before. Wow, look at that, that thing is big and angry. I'm gonna put it on the grass, we'll get a good look at it. All right. Yeah. Uh, I believe this is a female I've caught before. At this same location. One of the biggest I've caught, as far as Florida snapping turtles go. I remember this little hole right here, but good size Florida snapper. That's a big one. Really, really nice one too. Really impressive. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and let this go. Let her go back into her canal. Yeah, she knows exactly where to go. Perfect. Perfect. So there goes a red-eared slider down there. Lots of these guys right through here. And the funny thing is, is they're actually feeding on 
uh, some of the clams and snails on the bottom of this uh, little stream here. So interesting behavior. Big snapper right here. I'm gonna see if I can get down here and catch it. shaped shell just a real old turtle yeah, pretty cool it's fun to catch these guys so just like the others I'm gonna let this one go come back in all right buddy <laughs> straight muds gotcha where'd the other one go all right so this is the striped mud turtle you can see why they call them striped mud turtles have these awesome stripes on them. Uh, you might have seen these in the other video I did uh, recently with my buddy Kevin Brazzy over on the other coast of Florida where we were actually out herping and came across one of these. Really awesome turtles. Uh, they're really abundant here and um, you know once you get into peninsular Florida they kind of replace the role of the stink pot and they kind of pop up in just about any habitat uh, that's shallow and slow moving water like this and they just run along just like their name says through the mud and uh, these two I'm guessing since this one's a female, that was probably a male chasing her. Let's we'll see if we can spot him, but I'm guessing he dug down into the mud. These guys are really good at kind of disappearing once you spot them. Lost one already, but glad we were able to find one. Show it to you guys. Love these particular turtles. I love all the musk, all the muds. These guys actually have really cool patterns on their faces. So we're going to let this one go. And might even be able to see this one disappear into some mud. Here we go. And like when they're on the bottom, that's all you see is those three little stripes. Makes them really fun to look for, just trying to find those little stripes. Going right up the middle. Got you, buddy. Ooh, this is a bigger one. Nice looking striped mud turtle. Just going right up the middle of this little stream here. This one's a bit older, a little bit bigger. Um, has like kind of an extra stripe along the side, so that's always cool to see. We did see that in the one um, when I went herping with Kevin. Uh, really cool. She's actually missing a back leg. Looks like a raccoon or something got her. All right, just gonna let this one go. Take care, friend. Run! <laughs> so awesome. Is she gonna go down into the mud? Is she gonna bury into the mud for us? There we go. About to disappear into the mud. So awesome. Another striped mud. This one's smaller. I'm betting it's a male. Yep. Got that tail. Lots of little pattern on his face. Really, really awesome. Nice striped mud turtle. Yeah, just a little guy. There's so many of them in here. It's so awesome. Love these guys. Too slow. Banded water snake. Yeah, it's a little snapper. Maybe, right? Yeah. Three or four years old. face though it's full stuff yeah let's get that stuff off hold that I'll take this one clean out yeah buddy i got you hold on hold on yeah you're good you got like a little bit of junk right there there we go nice little yeah, snapping. Hold it too. nice oh over there they're more tame you can literally yeah. pet their head you can literally go like this and he comes <laughs> out of your hand Woo! yeah see he's gonna yeah, tap yeah. yep he's gonna tap be That's careful what they man do. Believe me, they can take a hunk of meat out of you. Oh yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Catch I've a lot of these guys. I've been by turtles, but not like that one. Yeah. This is different than those ones over there. Right, yeah, yeah. But you do get those over there too. Yeah, these will get up to about 40, 50 pounds, a big one. Yeah. All right, buddy, let's go back. Here you go. Go fast, too. Go. They say turtles are slow, right? If they can run, you better Yeah. All right, so this is a classic, what's known as a blonde striped mud turtle. And just over here in my light, is another striped mud. Let's see if we can get a hold of this one too. You can kind of see it there. <clears throat> a 
much more normal color, still a little bit more blonde. I think this is the one we caught earlier, so uh, pretty cool. Let this one go. But yeah, you can see these, these guys are really popular uh, in the pet trade and unfortunately heavily poached, but you can see why they're really attractive. But um, striped mud turtles are readily captive bred. Just takes a little bit of looking around, but there's no reason to take them from the wild. But beautiful, beautiful turtles. Love these guys. Let's let this one go. Right here, little Florida soft shell. Awesome. Can't wait to pick this guy up. Awesome. About one or maybe even two year old. Just kind of depends on how his growth has been. But young little Florida soft shell. Fantastic. This little Florida soft shell go. Take off, little dude. It's gonna go bury back into the sand. So cool. All right, so done pretty well tonight. Um, got a nice little assortment of turtles and just basically drainage ditches. Um, in a lot of parts of Florida like this, uh, this is the dominant habitat you're gonna be finding turtles in, especially in urban areas. They have kind of taken what seems undesirable, but really made it into prime habitat. You know, some are more productive than others. There's a marsh rabbit. Those guys like to hang out in water. Really cool to see that guy. Yeah, mosey along there, buddy. And um, so you get to see, you know, these turtles making the most of you know, what seems to most people to be an unsightly and disgusting ditch, but it's actually pretty full of life. Nice little striped mud turtle way over there. <laughs> Booking it, going under the mud. All right, right over here, striped mud just sitting here. You can see how they just sit on top of the mud. Try and boogie. And I got you, friend. Wow, that's a nice one. Really, really pretty. Striped mud turtle. Wow, that's really nice. Pretty! Now disappear. <laughs> okay, it's not gonna do the disappear trick this time. All right guys, that's pretty much it. So uh, this has been a little bit of urban herping in Florida. Um, we did one pass late afternoon and I came back with a flashlight and did another pass after dark to see if it got any better. There was a little bit more out. Uh, so that was pretty cool. The soft shell, a lot more mud turtles. So that was uh, definitely worth coming back with a flashlight. Uh, it was a lot more productive and it's always more fun doing it at night. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. As always, please like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your family, tell a stranger. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.